I just want to lift up the name of Jesus. I just want to give God thanks for this opportunity to share his word with his people and to comfort each and every one of us tonight. At this time, I just want to take the time out to greet our bishop and wife, our elder Fagan and wife, Evangelist McTavish and wife, and young people president, president, just about everyone tonight that are in line. I just want to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. God has been good to me and I just won't complain. Uh, tonight scripture will be will be reading from Psalms 1 28 and it is six verses so let us read together Psalms 1 28 and verse 1 to 6 from verse 1 to 6 praise the Lord let us I will begin in the interest of time blessed is everyone who fears the Lord who walk in his ways. When you eat the labor of your hands, you shall be happy and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the, in the very heart of your house. Your children like olives plants all around your table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you out of Zion and may you see good of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Yes, may you see your children, children, peace be upon Israel. Praise the Lord. And this is a very familiar passage of scripture and Tonight, I just want to say to somebody that there is a blessing in the house for someone tonight. It doesn't matter your situation, your status, your circumstances, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, there is a blessing here for you tonight. Praise the Lord. And I'll look, we were looking, let us look at verse one. Verse one said, blessed is everyone who fears the Lord. Fear the Lord. And you know, there's another scripture that said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Praise the Lord. I forget to ask. Is everybody hearing me clearly? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes we're hearing you. Praise the Lord. Yes. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord. And you know, listening to all the testimonies, various testimony, we know that we are God-fearing person. They are God-fearing people. And tonight, I just want to say that you are very blessed. We are very blessed, praise God. And it goes, the scripture goes on to say that who walk in his ways. So there's a blessing for those who fear, and for those who walk in the way of the Lord. And you know, we just want to look at walking, the fear and walking. As I said, the fear is the beginning of wisdom. When you fear God, we're gonna walk according to the word of God. When we fear God, if you, we say we are God fearing people, then we are going to do what is right by walking in his way, in his status, in his, in his status, in his commandment. We're going to walk in them because we fear God. I remember growing up as a child and your parents tell you certain things and say, don't go here, don't go there. When we respect our parents, we listen to them and we'll not go there. We will, we will obey their command and we'll be okay. Praise the Lord. Just as the psalmist is encouraging us that the God-fearing person, the children of God must walk in his way, because it's not every way. There's many ways, but God's ways, Virgin, is best for us. You know, if you are going from Green 2K Greenwich Road, whoever know online know where 2K Greenwich Road is, and you are going to Cross Road, there are many roads that can take you to Cross Road. So with, within God's, within, with us tonight, there are many roads can take us to where we are going, you know, but it's one road the blessing is on. So if God tell us, for instance, walk, go up Linder's Road, 
Enter it Tiamend Road, and that road will take you straight to Cross Road. That's the road we must walk. Even though you have Lincoln, Penrith, Elgin, and other road to go on, but the Lord road, the way of the Lord, is the right way for us to go. So tonight, let us observe and walk according to the word of God, because it's, but when we walk in the way of the Lord, that we're going to receive the blessing. Hallelujah. Verse 2 goes on to say, when... You eat the labor of your hands, you shall be happy and it shall be well with you. You know, Bridget, I can testify of this since I come down to Mandeville. I've been planting stuff. I plant so carrot seed, pop chow, etc. And when I reap them and bring them in the kitchen and cook them, Bridget, I'm telling you, it's enjoyable. Even corn, and I love corn. So what the psalmist really pen is reality. And it is true if we practice it. Just start practicing it, practice seeing what the word of God says we are to do. And then we will be blessed. Hallelujah. Because the Lord already pronounced his blessing and the Lord don't go back on his word. So whatever the Lord said we are to do, let us do it. And we will see the manifestation of the blessing of the Lord in our life and upon us. Verse three, your wife shall be like a fruitful vine. And you know, there are some brothers on the line. If you're any single brother on the line, there is a blessing here for you too. The Lord, the Lord consider you in, 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 in his way. The Lord want to bless you. It is a Lord desire to bless you with a good wife, a good home, good children. So this is the desire of the Lord to bless you. Because he said in his word, your wife shall be like a fruitful vine. And we all know like what a fruitful vine do. It bears and it bears and it produces and it produces good fruit. In every heart, in every heart of your house, Bridget, every heart you know, of your house, that means your whole household will be blessed. Praise God. Your whole household will be blessed. Your children will be blessed. Like olive plant. And you know, olive plant is a, is a symbol of peace. It's a symbol of promise. And we remember with Noah and the bird when he went out from the ark to pick, it was a, they said that it was a wild olive plant. So, you know, it, it, um, it's significant. It is the promise of the Lord. Whatever the Lord promise you, Virgin, whatever God had promised you, don't give up on God. Continue to walk in the way of the Lord and walk in. Don't walk and complain or murmur, but continue to, once you are continuing to walk in the fear of the Lord, you reverence the Lord, you're going according, you're doing what is right in God's eyes, then the blessing is upon you tonight. The blessing of the Lord is upon you in your household, in your wife, even you probably don't meet your wife yet, but the Lord promised your wife and a fruitful vine, hallelujah, fruitful wife. You will have children, your household will be blessed, your entire household will be blessed, Virgin. Hallelujah, let us wait upon the Lord because the Lord blessing is upon us, hallelujah. He said all, it said, the, the first verse goes on to say all around your table. Hallelujah. And as I give you an example of the thing that I plant and I bring it in. And when I was eating it around the table, Bridget, it was so sweet. It was enjoyable. Hallelujah. Because you, you work honestly by the sweat of your bar, you shall eat bread. Hallelujah. And God bless it. Hallelujah. And make them look very prosperous. Praise God. And beer. Hallelujah. That's a promise that the Lord is upon us, Bridget. And if we believe the word of God, and if we walk according to the word of God, we'll see the manifestation of the word of God. Praise God. Verse four, behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. So God is looking at you, young brothers, single brothers. The Lord have you in mind, in consideration. Praise God. The blessing of the Lord is for you tonight. Maybe you have been waiting for a long time and you cannot see your wife yet and the blessing not flowing your way. But as long as you're walking, line up yourself, brothers, line up yourself in the way of the Lord and fear God. Don't do anything out of the will of God. Fear God. Respect him, respect his word, keep his commandment. 
and walk in his statutes, and you shall be blessed. It is, it, it is guaranteed here, Virgin. God said, you shall be blessed. David pronounced the blessing. He said, everyone, so nobody left out. Everyone who fears the Lord. There's a blessing in this verse for you. And you know, as I go, I pray that this manifestation of all these blessings will be upon you tonight who are listening to the word of God. Those who are walking in line with God's word, the blessing is upon you tonight. Sisters are not leaving out the sisters. God have a husband for you. God have a home for you. You don't have to worry and fret. But if you continue to walk and line up yourself for the blessing, because the psalmist said those who walk, in his way, those who walk that is in the way of the Lord. If you are walking in the way of the Lord, the blessing is guaranteed. You guarantee bless. This is a guarantee blessing, Bridging. God don't go back on his word. Whatever he promised, he will fulfill it. It will come to pass. Maybe it don't come to pass yet in your life, but it will come to pass because God is not a liar. Whatever he said he will do, he will do it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And verse five, verse five said, the Lord bless you. So it is, we are to pray. We are to pray that for the manifestation of this blessing that the Lord promised us. Let us open our mouth and let us start to cry out for the blessing of the Lord. Have a conversation with the Lord. Say, Lord, you promise. I used to do it. Before I received my home, I used to say, Lord, you promise a home to the midwife. And I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And it was the Lord. I was, it was a, um, I see the manifestation today. I am living in my own home because I keep on speaking the word of God. I say, Lord, you promise house to the midwife because the midwife fear you. And that means when you fear God, you walk according to his word. And the blessing will come, Virgin. The blessing will come because I am a living testimony tonight of the blessing of the Lord. And I'm telling you tonight, you know, for worry where wife I go come from, our husband I go come from, you know, because God have them. And in due season, if you walk according to his word, he will bless your brethren. The Lord will bless you. His promises are faithful and they are true. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The blessing of the Lord. He said, the bless, he said, the, the Lord bless you out of Zion, out of God, holy place. God dwell in Zion and he's going to bless you out of his dwelling place. It's not a man or a woman that will bless you. It is God who sees you walking faithfully in reverence of him going to bless you. Nobody can stop this blessing, hallelujah, because it is God who is going to bless you, not a man, not a woman. Nobody can hinder you from the blessing of the Lord. Nobody can stop you or prevent you. Even if somebody not like you, they cannot stop you from the blessing of the Lord. Lord, because it already gone out of his mouth. You shall be blessed. You are going to be blessed. You will be blessed. Hallelujah. And as I say, I am a living testimony to the blessing of the Lord. If you walk in reverence of God's word, be faithful to God, then the God will bless you in due season. You don't have to worry or fret or go out of the way or go any other way because the blessing of the Lord already line up for you. You are in God's will, so don't go out of the way. Because you are in God's will. God already put you on his will for a blessing. So stay in God's presence. Stay in the will of God and wait upon God because he will bless you in due season. Hallelujah. And he said, on, he said the Lord bless you out of Zion and may you see the good of Jerusalem. Virgin, you're going to see it. It's going to manifest. Hallelujah. It is going to manifest. You will see the manifestation because I am a living testimony to that. If you continue to walk in God's ways and fear God, don't do anything out of the will of God. Stay in the will of God because you is there the blessing is. And if you go on any other road that the Lord don't send you on, then you're not you're going to miss the blessing. Because it's where the Lord say you now, is in the way of the Lord, the blessing is. And once you continue to walk on that straight and narrow path, the, the blessing is there. The blessing you will receive, the blessing, it is a promise. Hallelujah. And God promises faithful. He said, all the days of your life, all the days. Now, so it's not just one day, it's a one day blessing, Virgin. It is eternal. It is eternity. This, this, this um insurance policy is it is for eternity. 
praise God. All the days of your life, you're going to be blessed. This blessing is guaranteed to you that the Lord is going to bless you. Just continue to fear him and walk in his way, and you shall receive the blessing of the Lord. And the psalm is going to say, yes, may you see your children, children. And, and it said, peace be upon you. Hallelujah. Peace, the peace of God. You're going to have the peace of God along your journey, virgin. If there is no time we need the peace of God, is no, hallelujah. But it is promised to us once we stay in the way of the Lord, once we fear the Lord, stay in his way, walk in his statutes, keep his commandment, then the blessing is upon you. There is no way you can miss it. Once you're in the way of the Lord, the blessing is yours. You shall receive the blessing. Hallelujah. There is no other way, brethren. Walk in God's way. Continue. Let us continue. Let us write it down. If we continue to walk in the way of the Lord, the blessing shall be yours. The blessing is yours. Your children shall be blessed. Your children, children shall be blessed. Because we are going to set an example for our children and our children children, children to come will see the landmark and they will walk in it. Let us not remove the landmark because then they will go astray. Let us walk in the way of the Lord. Let us teach them the way of the Lord and they sh we shall be blessed and they shall be blessed. The blessing is guaranteed by God. It is God who promised us the blessing. Hallelujah. And this is our time as we are gathered here tonight. In this, uh, We are in our various home, Virgin. And you know, we are we are together, even though we are in our various home, different parishes, but we are together for this purpose, for this cause we are gathered here tonight, for the blessing of the Lord, just as David and the rest of brethren in Israel gathered together and they were going up to Jerusalem for the feast at, this, at, the, at that time. Virgin is so are we tonight. We are gathered together for one main purpose, and that is to worship God and to continue to walk in the way of the Lord. So my encouragement to us tonight, as verse one said, we are blessed. We are blessed. We are a blessed set of people. We are the blessed of the blesses, if there's a word like that. Because once we fear God and we continue to walk, fearing God alone, not going to make it, Virgin. We have to walk. We have to walk in the way of the Lord. So be encouraged tonight. It, you probably don't get your blessing yet, but your blessing is on the way. I might reach my blessing before you, but you are on the way for your blessing. You are next in line. The songwriter said, you are next in line. So tell yourself that I am next in line for my blessing. And there is nothing that is going to hinder you. And the only thing that's going to hinder you unless you come out of the way of the Lord. But as long as you stay in the way of the Lord, Virgin, your blessing, you shall receive your blessing. You know, matter how long it takes, stay in the way of the Lord and you shall receive your blessing. I hope somebody be blessed from this. I pray that all these blessings that are written here in Psalms 128 will be upon you, the God-fearing person who on this line is walking according to the word of God. The blessing is yours. And those who are not yet walking in the way of the Lord, Drawing in the line, drawing in the line, and walk because you shall be blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you, Virgin. Over back to Sister Edda.